Hi everybody, I think uh, a lot of you may have heard of HQ. Uh, it's a trivia game that's live on the internet as an app. And uh, I downloaded it a few, I don't know, probably 10 days ago now. But I was never around at 9 o'clock to play it. I was always busy doing something or whatever. So I thought I would film my first attempt at playing the game. Uh, I logged in last night, I don't know, five minutes after the game had started. And... Uh, they were already halfway through, and I don't think you can join midway. But um, you can win real money answering trivia questions live against thousands of other people. 280,000 people are logged in right now. Uh, and that number is climbing by the instant as it gets closer to 9. It's uh, 857 there. Um, the questions that I watched yesterday looked really hard. Um, I'm pretty good at Jeopardy. Um, I do a lot of... I don't know, I don't do a lot of trivia, but I mean, I have a lot of trivial knowledge. So, I'm expecting to fail pretty miserably at this uh, this game. You don't have much time to answer each question, so I think Googling, um, unless you had a room full of people to help Google things quickly, is pretty much out of the question. If you play by the rules and answer honestly, I don't think you'd have a real shot at it. But, um, we'll see how we do. I... I'm just curious, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained, and uh, it's free to play. So, 315,000 people climbing still by the instant. You can see the chat going pretty wild, and I think anyone can go in the chat, but I'm really curious as to what the point of this game is, because I haven't seen any advertising, so whether the questions themselves are sponsored content, or... Um, you know, there's some goal for someone to have this, uh, this app running for. I mean, you could, you could find people who are pretty clever at answering trivia questions, uh, if you consistently rate them in the higher levels. So, another two minutes. If you refer people to the game, you get extra lives. So I think if you answer a question wrong, um, you get another life. Or if you have another life, you can continue the game. But it is sort of a single elimination uh, trivia match. So of this now 375,000 people, uh, every time you get a question wrong, there's a remaining pool of people. And I, I sort of thought it would go until uh, either there was one, uh, one winner, but... Um, there might have only been about 10 questions, so I don't know. It's it's just an interesting social experiment or social game. Um, and their app's very slick, and their host is, uh, to me, a nobody. I, like, I don't know who the host is, but um, maybe he's a more recognizable face among millennials. And he tries to be entertaining in his presentation of the questions, and the, the video stream seems to be live, so... Uh, I'm just using my iPad. I have it rested up against my laptop. And uh, under a minute to go, maybe. 435,000 people. So pretty interesting. If Imagine instead of there being three people playing Jeopardy, there was 450,000. Get comfortable, but not too comfortable. Oh, another two minutes. Well, there'll be a half a million people there. Maybe I should have filmed uh, vertical here. I was going to fast forward through this, but I think I might just upload it in one clip. So sorry if this is a uh, boring little segment here. Six hundred thousand people.
I heard about the game from uh, Lauren O'Neill, uh, Lauren O'Nizzle on Twitter and Facebook. Um, I don't know if you follow her, but she does a lot of reporting on millennials. I think she's working for Blog TO right now, um, formerly of the CBC. So, six hundred fifty. But you'll get a you get the flavor for the game from this video. And I'm gonna try and use my fingers here to tap the tap the answers. Not so hard so far. I had one of these. Actually, I think I had 12 questions. 842,000 people. Did you still mean piggy bank? Because the correct answer is piggy bank. Yeah. Put your change in a piggy bank when you win HQ. And 800. 5,000 people flunked out of that one. Okay, I swear yesterday they were harder when I joined, so I'm expecting them to get tougher as we go. The correct answer is license. Yes. Does anyone know what 5,000 divided by 800,000 is? Last night, the people that won, I think, got $5.85. Knocked 140,000 people off the list. Channel. <laughs> the correct answer is England, France. 
We're talking about the channel tunnel. Yes, 400. I think more people got the last one wrong. Six of you. This is the channel tunnel, which goes through the English channel. It's been in use since 1994. It's also the name of a fake movie in Seinfeld. If you got that one wrong, no soup for you. Q5. The strike and effect describes when an attempt at what backfires. Career comeback, restricting alimony, or privacy. Clone two dogs is not an option. Actually, not an option for most of us without that HQ money. The correct answer is privacy. Nice. And 123,934 of you got that. And we have our first savage question. Savage question. Q5. Some of you are always the bridesmaid and never an HQ winner. I don't know why there's 467,000 people still on the list if... But we have 123,934 of you, you know... Moving on. Maybe the, the oh, these are the people in the chat. So those are people still in the chat the, room. The, the coastal town of California took pictures of her properties and put them on display, and there was her house. And by suing, she brought more attention to those pictures than they would have had otherwise. Kind of like, you know, Beyonce in the Super Bowl with those unflattering photos. But, I mean, who are we kidding? All photos of Queen So, yeah, there's people just dropping off that don't want to watch. The smarter people get the other ones. Why did England's king appoint himself supreme head of his country's church? Avoid prison and his marriage? Or now I'm marriage. guessing, but I and hope that's an educated guess. The table, but not in position. I just order the food for everybody. The correct answer is end his marriage. Nice. And we have 97,346 of you are supreme heads of this game. You hype beasts. Henry VIII wanted an annulment from Catherine of Aragon, partly because she did not produce a male heir. The Vatican was not down with this. So Henry was like, okay, I'm head of the Church of England now. Bye. And I guess he couldn't just chop off her head. Which of these awards has not been won by a U.S. First Lady? Emmy, Grammy, or Oscar? Um, has won HQ either, by the way. I, think we need a I don't know any singing First Ladies, singing but... Maybe there's a spoken word album. The correct answer is Oscar. Ooh, no shut down. I lose. And Oscar, 44,266 of you got that. Jack Yo won an Emmy for her televised tour of the White House. And Hillary Clinton won a Grammy for Best Spoken Word Album. But no First Lady has yet won an Oscar. Spoken Word but Album, I think Hillary Clinton. politicians deserve a nomination for an Oscar. Q8. In towns like Edinburgh and Glasgow, homes traditionally have red doors to signify what? Paid off mortgage, children at home, or rooms to rent. I love Scotland, home of the kilts and haggis and bagpipes. And the correct answer is paid off mortgage. I would have guessed yeah, wrong on that one too. That's a strange thing that you'd brag feet. about by painting really your house savage door. Question. In any case, thanks for watching, but you get the picture. Uh, five more questions harder than that. And then you can win potentially $5 if uh, a lot of people guess them all right too. So download it if you want, see what you think. Have a good one.